alexandrite will look amazing if you put it as a coating or somehow I think sprayed onto like Wolverine's claws in the jungle when he transitions because it says here in incandescent light or candlelight alexandrite will flush to a purplish red from bluish green so like if you're filming with black light and then you have him go close to other lights supposedly like near an encampment as he's sneaking in then his claws will look amazing transitioning color the hues will be absolutely phenomenal and will hold great 3d data and there's, if there's any other uses we can come up with like Alexander I definitely have people think about it and I will because it's uh, an amazing gemstone here with its orthohombic crystal system, whatever that means. Also, you need to mix in cerulean. Um, here it's spelled. See, here's a bird in South America where a lot of cerulean must be available, and its tail and top has turned cerulean colored. You can mix so much lithium through cerulean. Like, you can really boost lithium effects digitally or whatever after the fact after you filmed if you mix the cerulean with the uh, alexandrite you know but also for there's so many useful minerals like for example benitoite which is probably similar to bentonite but this one's way better you see if you want to enhance the color of your blue eyes and scenes you'd be using this gemstone as like processed energy in a computer to make your blue eyes pop but look more realistic. You'd also use a small amount of it as a coating on your lenses yeah. or as one of the lens layers and then so that like a green or a yeah. color. Say, I'll give a, a quick example because it'll make the image too blue. Yeah. So you screw on your lens, but in there you have bentonite for the blue so that you can get those blue priorities in post-editing because uh, yeah. it detects all the air through all the lenses and you can push pull the lens yeah. layers any way you want that's why cameras have cool lenses so it goes bentonite then it goes to green to make it you know more natural like back to the other direction yeah so we go bentonite emerald then um orange acid like slash yeah orange, that's what i was gonna say and then that way in post you can select the energy pattern you want and go for because everybody wants to use the concentrated orange acid as their basis for the other colors to be processed into their you know I mean, eyeballs that would be an amazing sensor what i just described yeah fuck you pay me fujifilm like, that should also make it so that no matter what, skies will always look blue instead of blown out. Because do you know how angry I am at actors? <sighs> actors as well. They should give a shit. They should want to be silhouetted in scenes where there's a sky in shot with it nice and blue, with the comparison of their eyes all blue with the sky. They, that, they would want that, and they're not getting that, so... They should demand it. I don't know. And yeah. Why I was describing it works so well and I was saying it's a Fujifilm style product. The sensors, what I described, the emerald, the bentonite. Yeah. And, you know, something from an orange tree. Yeah. Orange emerald. Well, no, let me show you what then, um, c citrine. Yeah, citrine. If you want to use some quartz. Quartz from, you know, the citrus of some tree. Yeah. That's compacted in some place. Yeah. Exactly. So my point here is that you use citrine um, because what's the major problem we're talking about with sky blowouts? This is the camera that would prevent it, and hence this camera will be used for everything. Um, the green of the trees interacts with the orange of sunsets and sunrises and things and blows out the sky on cameras that don't have enough bit rate. So it works even for lower bit rates because you have the sensor individually because it's mixed together inherently understanding through the citrine any orange or gold in the sun yeah in contrast with the emerald of the trees so that it can process it perfectly so that there's delineation yeah. and it knows the sky it doesn't just make it a matted white color and the final step is that blue from the uh 
whatever it's called. Yeah. I mean, look at this one. Amitrine. Um, look how beautiful this is. It's supposedly quartz with whatever other stuff mixed. It, that looks so nice. Yeah, quartz is a beautiful yeah. carrier crystal yeah. for the energy of other forms so of material. So, we, we've already mastered all of this. Quartz can already be manufactured in a laboratory where you inject um, other th forms of material, e material of energy, aggregate. aggregate, whatever, light even, and it turns a different color as it's formed. So, what I dream of is a future where... You know, basically we need gas in between lenses, so we'd have these cameras. The only reason they'd be big is because you have these vacuum seal lenses that'd be lined up where they'd be made out of all these different mixtures of um, minerals and stuff, and then the gas is sandwiched in between at high pressure amounts so that then a massive amount of electricity can be and magnetism can be pumped right through those gas, right through those lenses, and then you can hot swap it out, you know, select the, as the director say, no, I want the blue lens in front of the green lens with, you know, some gas that's pink in between there to get a certain feel of emotion. And you just select it on the machine and you have all the lenses already pre-made and it just compresses the gas in between them and sucks it out and spits out the whole lens array piece that you put onto the front of your camera. Yeah, you know, you know pumped tube array yeah. lenses. Like, we're cameras. going back to the past, mm -hmm. back to the 50s, back to the 30s, but modern miniaturized. Yeah, and with with that comes the ability for people to, once again, because it's controlled so much in the environment, to appreciate the gases in the air in an environment. Because yeah. then you go into an environment and you say, oh, this has great gas, like... For example, some area you'll say, these trees are, are kind of boring. They're not producing enough gas. But, like, these elms over here, they're really densified, and they're producing an interesting gas if we put in different gases. Exactly, in our because trees put out gases. and Everything then, in the environment is gas. But then we'd reach the, the conclusion that we would then feed the trees with stuff for years before we plan a movie in an area, then the trees would release certain gases unique more. gases that you like, yeah. and then it creates a unique forest A mystical look. look for different, you know, fantasy movies. And that's why if you make me an eccentric billionaire, I'll experiment with everything, including enormous groves of trees on plots of land, and I'll figure out what works. Yeah, I mean... All any anything that's a stable mineral that can be formed can be made in a laboratory and um, but more importantly can be energetically or physically mixed with quartz as it's forming in a laboratory to yeah. make cheap cameras. Yeah. That are the next level of custom for your film. Yes. And like. Like, this one here, it always says, like, magnesium aluminum. Well, think how cheap that is to produce. Yeah, that's, and, like, shitty DV cameras uh, yeah, that are already old-fashioned now. It's just the next evolution. We're going crystallizing it with it, you know, fully. We're taking the same principles. It's like everybody always says, oh, don't get rid of the old, you know, math and algorithms. Keep them on, you know, paperwork. Yeah, we because, just shrink them down. Because we just shrink them down, like the camera right here. This is a CCD, and yeah. everybody said, those will never work well again. We're never going to need those. And now it's, yeah. it does 4K30. This is obviously experimental because it's going to, the end model eventually will project also, you know, probably at 2.7K, you know, by default or whatever. Yeah, and there's the Run Cam 5 Black, which is just the blue spectrum yeah. of orange. It's the inverse of this orange spectrum, which makes everything golden orangey. Yep, so we slap those two together on a gimbal arm, and it'll look amazing. Yeah, stereoscopic. Even like for movies, because it's 4K 30 3D, you know, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there's just, yeah. All these minerals that have an aluminum base to them... People already did the research because there's thousands of varieties of cocaine plants with different types of crystal colors, just like weed, only not as many as weed, of course. Um, so if South America is where they're growing all the different types of cocaine, 
that's where they've been developing since 2012. Um, the crystals that they've been putting into the latest versions of film that have gold magnetism embedded with strips along with it so that it can be digitally ripped and digital monsters and stuff can be added if you still want to make a film through the film reels, you know, cameras. Yeah, and yet it's four people's crappy DV tape eyeballs just like yes. this camera. And Beautiful so, beyond all belief, yet it's just a and aluminum. And yet a higher definition they've ever done before. Yes. I've seen their game mods. Everything's yep. just turning into aluminum, and I'm sick of it looking that ugly. Yeah, so we need quality aluminum from actual coca plants Grown going in different yeah. mineral soils. And that would be a lot of people that are so nothing, and they've been relying off of coca so long, even people from drinking Coca-Cola, that... They just will want to see movies that are entirely cocaine-colored lenses, like I said, slotted in. Then the gases in between the, the um, lenses of aluminum are then different types of gases, so then they see their, their eyeballs are excited, the particles into their brain by those gases, and really thinking they're getting a full experience, a rich vibrant color scape that feels deeper than 10 bits somehow yeah and so all the things i talked about already the principles i introduced on my live stream that we already talked yeah. about have been introduced and this i assume this is just aluminum with some orange acid <laughs> yeah you know in, in the polymer emulsion of this little sensor that i'm talking into and so the concept here is i i already stated i just want to re bring it back one more time is why not any material? People can see silver. Yeah. They can see gold. Why mm -hmm. don't you, you know, uh, use acids to enhance that enhance the ionization of those materials and put them in your crappy sensor, even with aluminum little particulates, because that's yeah. all it is. This is one solid chunk of a supposed static film reel, yeah. which is why everybody says that it's the only camera that looks cinematic like you know what i mean well, in a certain way like that's like old-fashioned the way they want it to and then they yeah. can see it that way so let's push that i just say use cheap metals mix in copper with aluminum figure out what acid concentrates from you know no, plants the create cheapest, the effects cheapest possible cameras is what we're talking about yeah chintziest possible visuals but that are still higher definition. Yes, it's the future. More beautiful, not if they're real, not real colors. Who cares? Yeah. And to, nobody cares. To get the point is what I'm trying to say is, of beauty back into the visual images that you're seeing because cheaper doesn't always mean worse. So why should you have way too much gold when you could put copper and everything else into something and yeah. make it cheaper? Then you're not using too much of anything. Then it costs twenty dollars. Yeah, exactly. Mmm, yes. Anakin. <laughs>